So let's go through a few technicalities, as I call them. A.K.A. a few questions. First of all, Bart, where do you buy livestock? Where do you obtain it? First of all, guys, why do you keep asking where I buy my cocoons and eggs? You know, online there is a huge market for this hobby, right? There's dozens of websites where you can order cocoons, where you can order caterpillars, right? Use Google. But because I'm a nice guy, I will provide you the links. Look in the description of this video and you will see some links where you can buy insects. Now beware. Now, please don't try to focus on the moth that I'm holding too much. This is going to be another part where I'm actually trying to tell you something. But I figured you don't need my face in every part of the video. Either way, I thought it would be useful to add a small part for you where I mention actual suppliers in my video instead of just linking you some links where you can uh, buy them in the description of the video. So here goes. The first and most important place on the entire internet to buy livestock currently and I'm saying currently because on the internet things can change, websites come and go, the community is very fluid. So over time new suppliers appear and also disappear. But the most important place where I get I think about 80%, 80% of all my insect species, I get it on the forum called Actias. The website is www axios.de and actually it's a forum and yes you need to make an account first before you can even view the marketplace now this marketplace is a small part of the forum where you can log into and see several offers of eggs and pupa and cocoons for sale it's a very big and international community and I'm really stressing this, if you don't have an account on Actias, you will never be a serious breeder. Why? That sounds pretty harsh. But the truth is, it's by far the biggest place online ever to buy insects and livestock of butterflies and moths. And if you don't participate in it, or you don't want to make the effort to make an account, well then you'll basically never get 90% of the species so you're missing out on the biggest insect community online however for us American friends this website may not be ideal because most of the users on it uh, sell things in Europe and in America it may be much harder to obtain eggs or cocoons of some species because Customs will destroy them if you ship them from Europe to America because for you it's actually illegal to breed exotic insects that are not native to your country. So for our American friends we have a forum that's called InsectNet. Yes, InsectNet. And it has a section where you have to click on Classifieds, then Lepidoptera, then Livestock, right? If you do that you will see many insect dealers in America who deal in mainly American species like Luna moths, Cacropia moths um, but if you're lucky they will also sell exotic species though actually technically that's not allowed but yeah who cares so that's number two um, let's see you also have many commercial websites like worlds of butterflies and moths called Wobam from what I've heard, it's a pretty cool and reliable website, though a little bit overpriced, because let's, to be, let's be honest, there is no need to buy material from commercial websites when you can easily get it from one of the forums I mentioned. And these websites make money from noobs who are new to the hobby, and they will Google the first website they can find that sells cocoons to them. 
that's the truth they don't know where to get to to find the real sources of livestock and they just google i want cocoons of the comet moth and the first website that pops up and that sells them at an overpriced price will sell it to the amateurs that's the truth however it's reliable and i've heard good things about it then we have worldwide butterflies yes guys this is a bad one not only are they very overpriced i'm sorry if you are listening owners of worldwide butterflies this is going to be devastating but many people are not happy with your service and on many occasions you have sent dead cocoons dead eggs actually i once ordered pupa of a butterfly on there and they arrived completely crushed what's interesting is the package was entirely intact that means they must have been crushed before even shipping and packing them which is incredible you don't even i couldn't believe that it was possible and i know multiple friends that they have actually sent moldy eggs with fungus on it so before that happens they must be very 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 old you know it's like it's not like not by accident they were infertile no they ha had to have known the eggs were not in good condition before even selling them so i'm sorry i would discourage anyone to buy from there please please don't do it if you're considering it there are many better options even send me a private message but it's one of the suppliers out there and i still i'm still obliged to mention them to you let's see then we have stratford butterfly farm in the uk it's an awesome supplier though it mainly only sells tropical butterflies and not moths so if you have a butterfly greenhouse it's an excellent website for you to get morpho butterflies and nice swallow tails for your greenhouse however once in a blue moon they have incredibly interesting moths from them I, this year i got uh, one of the uranidae moths the uranine urania fulgens which was in the catalog and sometimes they have rare tiger moths from africa which surprised me a lot i was wondering what they were doing in their price list but they were and sometimes they also have comet moths of course the atlas moths or some nice african stock like some uh, brasias and whatever the downside is there is a minimum order of 50 pupa so if you're going to buy from there be prepared to spend a lot of money and buy a lot of livestock at the same time and if you live in europe or not in the uk yeah you'll be spending even more on shipment hmm well, I think it covers the main suppliers basically. Then there are on uh, Facebook also many selling and trading groups. If any of you add me on Facebook, I will be glad to add you to some groups that share eggs and cocoons of some species. Now, last but not least, I have private contacts too. That's how I get many of the exclusive species that I show on my YouTube channel. Like this moth I'm holding here is the Ophodiptera Helena. It came from Australia and actually the from Australia is nearly impossible to get any insects basically all of them are protected by law so but I have co contacts over there who are just willing to collect them for me and I have contacts in Africa I have them in Mexico I have them in Taiwan so very often people are after me like Oh Bart, where did you get this and this species? I want to have it too. Well, I'm sorry because I'm not sharing all of my sources. Of course, I'm keeping my best contacts secret and I will keep them for myself. Also because they are sometimes private contacts, like friends who are willing to collect for me and who have no interest in selling commercially. But also because I'm a little bit selfish like that and I want to keep the sources for the best species for myself. So that was my review of some suppliers. Now there is no excuse for you to not breed anything. This was only the tip of the iceberg. Do your best, look on Google and you'll find many more websites. 
Also very important is to make friends with other breeders. Yes, this is very important. On your own, you're not going to get nice species. You'll have to make friends, friends who live abroad, who live in other countries, who are willing, sharing the same interest and willing to share eggs with you. And basically it's, the, it's, it's also the game of the trade, you know, you have to master it. That was all. Depending on the laws of your country, it is illegal for you to obtain and breed exotic animals. That's right. If you live in tropical uh, Asia, if you live in North America, if you live in South America, yes, that's right. It's illegal for you to buy insects that are not native to your country. That means you will have to catch them outside or trade them with friends who live in your area because breeding all these exotic species I know they are pretty guys it's not for everybody and my country happens to have very loose laws because our climate does not allow these species to survive anyways if they escape but this is different for the United States this is different for tropical areas. This is different for many protected ecosystems. New Zealand, Australia, they have very vulnerable and fragile ecosystems. So you are not allowed to buy them online. And uh, you will have to look for species in your area. Maybe you should study the host plants of uh, some cool species in your area and try and find some caterpillars, you know, it's free. Try and trap adults, put up a light trap there's many ways you can trap moths. You can attract them with bait, with fruit and sugar. You can attract them with wine or light, a light trap. And just capture some adults and it will be a free source of eggs. <clears throat> if you're lucky, you can collect many caterpillars. I don't know, there's something to do in every country. Even if it's illegal for you to buy cool species, yeah, you can capture species in your area. There's no country where there are no butterflies and moths. Maybe if you live in Alaska, then maybe you are yeah, out of luck, guys. But second of all, Bart, how do you obtain this piece or this piece? And where can I buy it? Sorry, guys. I use the same sources as you for buying insects. Uh, however, yes, sometimes I have species that are not available in the hobby. That's because I have a lot of contacts, even in uh, tropical areas, in Mexico, in Africa, and I import them from the wild. So I am able to get some exclusive species that other people don't have. But it's my secret. I'm not going to reveal where I'm going to get them because I'm paying these people to capture these insects for me. However, if you look, if you do your best, and look online and look at the websites I provided you that are in the description you can get many many of the species you want just put in some effort and you can find almost anything I'm not special I don't have a secret network of people who sell me uh, cool species no I am li just like you I look all day online I contact people I email people who live abroad I email people uh, who collect insects in South America, I write them letters and I ask them, can you catch this and this pieces for me? And sometimes they do. Most of the times they say, no, I don't want to collect live animals or no, I'm just on a vacation. I don't know. I'm not, gonna, not going to ship you insects. But sometimes they will say yes and you'll have something exclusive. Now, I hope that covers the basics, guys. This is basically what you'll need to breed insects in captivity. You'll need one container for the caterpillars, one container for the eggs, and one cage for the adults and for the pupa. That's not so difficult. The rest of the knowledge is all out there online. And I want to encourage you to go look for it. And not only uh, have it spoon fed to you by others. This is very important. If you want to be the best, if you want to be the best entomologist out there, go and study, find your own sources. This is important. Do, do, not, do not be, uh, you don't need to depend on other people. If you become independent, you will be the, you, you'll be the best breeder in the world. 
Hmm, let's think. What have I not covered in my video yet? Hmm. I told you where I buy all my lift stock. I told you what kind of containers I use, what techniques I use, very briefly. So, I think that pretty much covers it, guys. I think it does. Now I want all of you to go out there and breed something yourself. And you will succeed. If you really want to. You don't need to be an entomologist or an expert. I'm just a silly guy playing with insects on YouTube. And recently I've become successful at it. Just because I spend a lot of time uh, experimenting, finding sources of new species that nobody has bred. And well, all information is out there on the internet. Last but not least, I am working on my personal website that has care sheets of insects. I put the link in the description. Guys, check it out, click on it. I'm a little bit lazy, I have not updated it in a while, but I will. I will update it, I promise you this. And more care sheets are being added every day. So, there's one thing for you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.